family come from the, the volcanic island that I researched, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Like, because of my disability, I was very sick as a child. Knowing if you have a disability, knowing your own limits, um, and then just working with your body to find the right fit, because there is a way to do science to work with your disability, whether it's physical or mental. Volcano is very good joy. <laughs> because um, they're, they're very beautiful geological landforms and um, I always say that they're underappreciated and misunderstood landforms because sure they destroy things but they're also very beautiful and contribute so much in terms of the little benefits that they provide. My name is Dr Jasmine Scarlett and I'm a historical and social volcanologist which essentially is I research past volcanic eruptions, how they impacted people and how it can inform the present and our future and understanding how people live with volcanoes. Dr. Scarlett's work is amazing and it requires knowledge of a lot of different fields. So my work is interdisciplinary, so I combine physical sciences, physical geography uh, with um, humanities and social sciences. And I've predominantly been focusing on marginalised communities and how they live with volcanoes because they're usually quite neglected in research. Um, and it just so happens I'm actually focusing quite a lot on black communities. And that's a, kind of like a personal connection because my family come from the, the volcanic island that I researched, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But it's just really interesting to see how people live knowing that this volcano is active and it could erupt at any time and I just really find that fascinating how they just kind of live with it. I definitely think the most like exciting part is getting people's stories. Society is not all the same, it's all very different um, and why it matters is that to trace the colonial legacy of how these systems imposed on people that did not choose to have them imposed on them, how that has actually impacted them living with disasters and in this case volcanic eruptions because it's really down to like decisions made that actually that really highlights these kind of like how people live with them today and how they might live with them in the future. Dr. Scarlett has found a really innovative way to combine work and play. Um, I really like playing video games. I like them so much that I turned it into research. Not so long ago, I kind of got more interested in the volcanoes and the geology in video games that I was playing. It was um, Spyro the Dragon, um, and I was just like looking at a level where it had uh, lava falls in it, and I was like, that doesn't look quite right. <laughs> so I decided to use my scientific curiosity, I suppose, and kind of just like look through the levels and be like, okay, is this kind of accurate? Does this relate to what we see in real life sort of thing? And that turned into a research paper with a friend of mine, um, Ed McGowan, and we just basically played games and then reviewed them. Collaborations and mentoring are very important to Dr. Scarlett. Um, and I've had the opportunity to mentor students as well, particularly those who want to be volcanologists. And if you can get the opportunity to mentor, it is really, it is re that's a really touching kind of experience to like pass on your life experiences to, to another person. But.